So we've had a look at uh, installing the Open Encyclopedia into the Chess-based database program, also into the Fritz family of playing programs, and we've had a look at some of the uh, other stuff that's on the Open Encyclopedia disk. Now we'll just have a very brief overview of, of how to actually uh, use the Open Encyclopedia, things that you can do with it. Well, if you open the Open Encyclopedia in the database window here in Chessbase 11, you'll see already we've got over 3.8 million games. Well, that's a fantastic resource already. Um, so you can play through any of those games you like. You'll notice if you go to the first or the second text section, this info section, tells you that the, the games, the first from number 3 to 4,923, are opening surveys. And after that, you've got the games. Now, opening surveys are basically, they provide you with an overview of that opening in question. Um, so if you can see here we can click on one at random. This gives you um, an overview of one of the unusual openings. So it begins with the ECO code A00 and or A00. And uh, you'll see also as you go through, you can play through these. You can click with your mouse or you can move through with the arrow keys just like you would any other game. You'll also see uh, symbols popping up like these. What these are, they're, um, they're informant symbols. If you don't, uh, If you don't know what those are, it's kind of like the um, the common language of uh, chess players around the world. If you're unfamiliar with them, you can get some information about them in the chess base help file. So just click here. This brings up the uh, help section. Just type in commentary symbols or start typing that in. And then when you double click on that, that will give you a list of all the different symbols and what they mean. So that's very useful if you're going through those opening surveys. Um, now. When you're going through the opening surveys, let me just close that down. One of the an interesting trick you can have is if you've uh, designated your opening uh, opening encyclopedia as your reference database, um, you'll be able to use that going through the surveys. Now, to do that, you just need to go back to the database window like we have here, right click, go down to properties, and check the box next to reference DB. You can see here it's already checked, but if I click once, I uncheck it, but click again to check it, and then just click OK. And what that means is if we open the database window again and open one of these uh, surveys, let's scroll down a bit, get something like a King's Indian Attack here survey. And as we play through this and if we go onto the reference tab, you'll see very soon that the uh, the reference tab, it will search through all the games in the database. We've gone quite far here, so let's just go a bit uh, earlier on in the game. And the reference tab brings up a whole host of information, games that are in the opening encyclopedia that you can play through. Uh, it's very useful when you're going, when you're studying openings. If you've, um, if you're picking some openings for your repertoire, just to see how those games play out in the middle game and the end game, because you'll see certain th key themes uh, recurring with some of these games, uh, some of these openings. So as well as just uh, memorizing the moves, which isn't really uh, what you want to do, you want to understand why you're playing these moves, because you want to find out what sort of positions you reach in the middle game and how to play those as well. So it's very handy to play through some of these games as well. So as well as that, you've got the um, so you've got the opening surveys and the games and uh, the database. So that's for some fantastic material here in the opening encyclopedia. Um, you can play through all that and uh, there's just enough to keep you going there for pretty much uh, as long as you want to do. So there you are, even if from, a, from an amateur right through to a professional, there's material to keep you busy. So there you go, that's a very brief overview to the fantastic new Chessbase Opening Encyclopedia 2011. Thanks for watching.